at silver, we were out of the platinum group metals, but here, at, for this row, we are now done with all of the precious metals. Cadmium is quite distinctly a base metal, and some would, people don't even classify it as a transition metal. It is kind of in the boundary zone between transition metals and normal metals. It is in the same column as both zinc above it and mercury below it. What is interesting about this column is that the elements slowly get more toxic as you go down them. Zinc is completely non-toxic as, as a metal and is in fact necessary for life, although some of its compounds are toxic. Now that we move down to cadmium, cadmium itself is somewhat toxic, um, although it has no acute health effects, but it is extremely toxic for the environment and it has bad um, long-term health effects, much like mercury. Uh, because of this, I can show you, ca I have cadmium, but I will not show it here, I'll go downstairs to show it to you. First, I'm going to talk about uh, the major use, the first, you know, m most common use for cadmium. Uh, zinc is typically plated onto all sorts of things to help them resist corrosion. If you see those, uh, what are known as tin roofs, which they're not actually tin, they're typically aluminum plated with zinc. If you plate something with zinc, it's called galvanizing it. So, galvanizing is pretty good, but cadmium is much better at resisting corrosion than zinc. So, although it is more expensive and rarer than zinc, and much more toxic than zinc, if there are places where you really don't want something to corrode, such as in various parts in airplanes, then those parts are typically coated with cadmium. You also need quite a bit less than cadmium, less cadmium than zinc to resist the corrosion. Uh, you only need a cadmium layer of about 50 microns thick to resist corrosion. Um, so that's the major use, that's the major use for cadmium. Another use, uh, which is phasing out, uh, cadmium used to be used in, uh, in batteries, in rechargeable batteries, which provided 1.5 volts of electricity, just a little bit less than the normal 1.5 volts on a non-rechargeable dry cell. Um, those are phasing out because they're extremely toxic to the environment, and now there are lithium batteries and nickel uh, hydride, metal hydride batteries, which are even better and less toxic. Finally, another use for cadmium is uh, cadmium sulfide is a very nice kind of yellow-orange color, and it is used uh, to actually uh, coat many different things if you want them to resist corrosion. So if you see like old cast iron pots, they'll probably, a lot of them are coated and they'll be orange because they're coated with cadmium sulfide. That is a very bad idea because you're putting a toxic chemical right next to where you're going to be putting food. So nowadays, cadmium, or nowadays uh, pots do not have cadmium sulfide, although they replaced it with another fairly toxic substance, or a potentially toxic substance, Teflon. So that might be a bad idea, too. This is my little container of cadmium metal, and I'm going to be taking it off with, uh, taking, uh, pouring it out with full safety equipment, because although it has no acute health effects, it has some long-term health effects, much like mercury, so I don't want to go crazy. So there we go. A pile of mossy cadmium metal. Um, and it looks a lot like, if you've ever seen mossy zinc, it looks a lot like that. Um, it's tarnished a little bit. Um, Let's see how what its hardness is. It's got a little bit of give, which is to be expected. Um, yeah, so there's cadmium metal.